All right, Nathan L, your question. So the question says, find a set of vectors u, v, and r4 that spans the solution set of the equations w minus x plus 2y minus 2z equals 0 and 4w plus 2x plus y plus z equals 0. Okay, so this is basically just finding the solution set. And we're going to express it as a span, just like you asked for. Uh, but I wrote it in matrix vector form right here. Uh, this is the augmented matrix form. This is just the typical uh, matrix, the proper matrix form. And we have this vector w, x, y, z. That's the order your variables are in, and it equals 0, 0. Okay, so we're all set up. In this short answer to this question, I'm not going to be able to show you the entire row reduction. So this is something you should check on your own. If you're asking this question, I'm hoping you do know how to row reduce this matrix into reduce, uh, row reduced echelon form. And this is what it is right here. And the interpretation of this here is these two equations. This tells us that w plus 0, x plus 5, 6, y minus 1 half z equals 0, and similarly with the other equation. And we have two pivots here, and that means that we have two free variables since we have four total. So the, the two free variables by convention, we're just going to say are y and z. And so we're actually going to write everything in terms of y and z. So we're going to write these equations in terms of y and z. So we're going to say w equals some expression of y and z that I'm going to show you on the next page, and the same with x. So let's go to the next page. These are the equations that I just mentioned. And so we can write these two um, non-free variables in terms of the free variables. And then the free variables are just whatever they are. That's what makes them free, right? So we turn that into a vector equation, we basically say, what does an arbitrary w, x, y, z vector look like? And what it looks like is this. And this is really the important part that I want to spend some time on. What we're doing here is we're looking at this. We're looking at this sort of column. And you'll see that I wrote the y and the z in different places so that we have y's lined up right here. And so what's happening is we're changing this into matrix form. We're saying, let's factor out a y from this whole sort of column of values here and say this vector equals y times these numbers plus z times these numbers. And if you want to check that this is accurately saying the same thing as this whole set of information, you can just multiply this out, right? So this is y is a scalar times this vector. You can multiply, you can multiply it through here. And same with this, add them, and you will get exactly these equations. But what's the way this gives us an answer that we like is what this equation is saying is that w, x, y, z, and this is, remember, this is an arbitrary w, x, y, z. This is any X w, x, y, z that essentially is, is possible, that, that solves the problem. This is the solution set, is of the form y times this vector plus z times this vector. And remember, y and z are free, so they can range across any any real number here. I'm assuming we're, we're talking about real numbers. Uh, so they can range across any real number. And so what's really going on is this is the definition of span, actually, is it's any linear combination of these two columns because it's these two linear combinations added together and scaled by any number because y and z can be any number. So right here, we've arrived at the, the solution set is the span of these two vectors. And you see, I've written that uh, this, th this is the u and v that you're asking for. Span of u, v equals all of the possible w, x, y, z vectors such that a, which is our original matrix, times this vector equals zero. So that's the solution set. And I forgot the extra bracket here, but I think you know what I meant. So that's the solution set. I, I hope this helped. And comment again if um, you get confused.